Kips Clips. Alrighty, YouTube, another one of Kips Clips. Um, so something a wee bit different, light hearted. I love this stuff, man. The symbology, architecture, um, reading into the landscape. Uh, looking at the ley lines, all that sort of a stuff, it is fascinating, man, and, and and it's part of the language that helps you read what's right in front of you. Um, it helps you read. <laughs> it helps you read the story of cities if you actually go and look at them, bird's eye view, and the layout of the uh, uh, of all the architecture, all the symbolism, so on and so forth. So I came across this video from Mess Williamson. Um, I'll leave a link for it down below. Definitely go and check it out. It's a cracking, uh, a cracking clip. Um, I love all this stuff walking about, looking at the the sights and symbols um, around you. So um, it does an amazing job pointing out lots of good things, stuff about Theresa May, the symbology, the history, so on and so forth. I'm not here to steal his thunder or anything. Please go and watch the clip, and he'll he'll tell you about the um, the, the history behind the, the the Trent House, the park. Um, who stayed there, who they were, the Duke and Duchess of York, I believe. <laughs> See, I don't know this. Uh, 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 the, the history of the people that stayed in the land, Churchill being there, all sorts of beautiful history, the, the military history of this place during World War II, and it's, um, the house was used as a, as a, as a elite Nazi prison kind of thing. So definitely go and check out all that backstory. I don't want to be here all day reiterating <laughs> what S. Williams has done. So um, I just wanted to add something to the story, something that um, over the years, the, the knowledge I've built, built up to be able to actually read some of the architecture. Not so much tell you what it is, you need to go and find that out for yourself because there is no one meaning, but it's to say there is a genuine layout of the land with the story behind it, if you scratch beneath the circus. Anyway, um, brilliant wee clip, talks about a lot of things, symbolism, uh, what's going on just now and everything, so I'll leave a link for that down below, you can definitely go and check it out. The area of the world he's talking about is the Trent Park uh, Obelisk in Middlesex, here it's here, again I'll leave a link for all this down below, you can go and check it out, I just want to add a wee few things um, from my point of view. Um, Here's a story about the obelisk itself. The large obelisk in Trent Park was brought to West, uh, from West Park by um, Sir Philip Sassen, Sassoon. Um, don't quote me on this, I think he was the dude that was related to the Rothschilds, but go and watch S. Williams' film. In 1934, in order to impress the uh, Duke and Duchess of Kent. Now, the reason I wanted to show you that date is to show that there is recent activity, not only down there, but up in um, Glasgow, my city, where I've mapped all this out, that you can read into it and see there are, there are actual meanings, ley lines, that things have been, um, things have been um, planned out deliberately. Now, what I wanted to show you here is, um, it was, as I said, it was put there in 1934, to impress the, the Dutch and uh, the, the Duchess and Duke, um, a channel was carved out through the forest to afford a grand view of the monument from Trent Park House Grade Two listed building. I just wanted to reiterate that. Uh, we'll go into the obelisk. I'll show you some of the stuff I know, and then I'll I'll, I'll join some of the dots for what you'll find this architecture all over the Masonic world, which is literally the. Um, but the Victorian British Empire at its heyday, um, you'll find this exact same architecture laid out at all these places. Um, I guarantee it. So let's have a quick look and I'll show you what I mean, not that. Um, right, th this is... Um, where's the best place, place to start? Uh, go over onto my channel and you'll see the, the, the stuff I've done in the past. Um, there's an obelisk up in Loch Lomond, if my memory serves me correct. There was the Glasgow and Paris linked with the Masonic symbols of the arch, the obelisk, uh, and um, let me see what other stuff. Um, I uh, you you see if you go and look in Glasgow Green, and I'll show you this. You'll see the all C and I, and it leading to the pyramids and all that sort of a stuff. You'll see the ley lines. What I wanted to show you about this was. 
Um, just the, if you do try and understand the architecture and why things have been laid out the way they've been laid out, you can actually find quite a few really interesting things. Um, for example, I'll show you here, as you can see, this is Trent Park. These are the, uh, the country houses which exist. Uh, which exists. They're there, so they're real. Uh, these, this is Trent House, the mansion house um, that the obelisk was placed to have a grand view for the Duchess and Duke, or what have you. Um, hold on, I can just get rid of that. You just don't need that, I suppose. Um, but what I'll show you is that's the obelisk there. Um, as you can see by the pyramidic structure, that is the obelisk. I've put a line on the absolute tip of that obelisk and all I've done is try to follow out the natural line as you can see I've done I'll show you from both the manly homes all the way up here's the bit that was carved out you can see the lines right on the obelisk and the carved out path now where in the world do you think this could go? Now, the one in Glasgow Green goes right directly to the, the pyramids. The symbology is all there for you. Um, this goes to another... I would love that. I can use the word. Another very important place for occultists and a lot of esoteric knowledge and... A lot of people that are into esoteric knowledge will know exactly what I'm on about here. I would have to be here for hours going into all of this. You have to fill in the blanks yourself. I just won't really show, hopefully showing you the patterns and the architecture. Um, some of you may or may not be aware of the historical sig significance in Malta. The, what the fuck am I looking for? What's the word I'm looking for here? The Crusades. The, the, the Knights of St. John, the, the Knights Templars who shifted into the Knights of St. John, so they're basically the same thing. The Knight of Malta, the Queen is, an, a, is, a, is a Dane of Malta? No, she's a, she's a Dame of not Malta. She's a Knight of Malta, Dame of Malta. Um, so, I'm going to... Like, my belief is that isn't by any accident. Uh, it's no accident that the ley lines that they're putting down in these Victorian era important areas that were laid out for the elite of the time who don't worship Christianity, it's all occult crap. Um, all you need to do is look at the gods and the plaques and the, the symbology they put all around themselves. <laughs> Christianity doesn't come into it. Um, so you'll see that that takes you directly to the island of Malta. My belief is that is by no accident. I'll show you the similarities and why if you trace a lot of these ley lines and stuff, you will. You might think there is some thump something to some of this madness that I'm saying. So before I go and show you some of the other similarities, let's go back or into Glasgow. Um, let me just find Glasgow in green. Where the hell am I? Uh, right, let me just find Glasgow Green. Now, as you can see, I'll show you the owl first. Uh, let me show you the owl first. Um, Molek! This is owl, Molek! You can see the wee owl, owl looking um, bird there with its tail going out into the Clyde. What you'll find with a lot of these ley lines and procession ways that they put down, and I can't quite figure it out, but it, it, there is a relationship between waterways. It's undeniable. All these cities, go and look at it in Paris, go and look at it in Moscow, and you'll see the Masonic symbolism put directly next to the rivers, which is brought in, but which has made these cities what they are to this day. Right? It's undeniable for me. Right? What you'll find here as well is. Let me show you the uh, Illuminati all seeing eye. Right. Right. On the tip of a pyramid, of course. Of course. See the pyramid there? Here's the Masonic all seeing eye. If you 
go and read the Masonic Bible and get you at least your first degree Masonic knowledge in here, you'll understand that the Masonic, the Illuminati I, it's um, I representing Masonic law amongst other things. Another thing that first degree knowledge will teach you is there is no one meaning. It's a constant there's always somebody that knows more than you, better believe it. Uh, and there is no coincidence that right across the road from that is the High Court of Glasgow. So you get the, the Masonic Eye, represent Masonic Law, and right across the road from it you've got the High Court of Glasgow. Uh, no accident. Uh, what I'll also show you as well is the Arc de Triomphe, also known as the McClelland Arch in Glasgow Green. Can't quite remember the dates off the top of my head now, they'll be in some of my previous videos. But like I mentioned with that obelisk, it get moved at the early 20th century, 1920s I believe it was, maybe then a bit before that. This was moved here, again the exact date escapes me. I'm pretty sure it was within the last 50 to 70 years that that McClelland Arch should be moved to that particular place. Now what I want to show you... Some would, people would say, if you look at the ancient Egyptian trilogy, uh, Osiris, Isis and Horus, Horus representing the sun, sometimes the eye, Is uh, Osiris represented by the penis, the big obelisk, and Isis represented by the vagina, the opening, the hole. That's your ancient Egyptian trilogy, you need to go and look into that as well. The, the, the Masonic elites that were building all this architecture back then and who have rectified the Masonic symbolism in the architecture in recent history are, I believe it's, it's, it all speaks for itself in its architecture. Now again there's the arch um, and through the arch, which you couldn't quite see there, is the all seen eye and then up this procession way is your obelisk as you can see by the shadow. Now, I don't even, I've done this before, I know how accurate it is, so all I really need to do, let's go to this arch, um, and let's go into the middle of the arch, and I don't even need to, and wait till you see how this all lines up, man. It's mental. Um, Right, so as I said, this procession line, ley line, whatever you want to call it, energy line. Let's go, oh no, do you know what? I can't find the pyramids. I'm terrible at this. I've done this before and it's took me ages. Um, hold on, do I embarrass myself? Or do I just... Uh, I think Giza Plateau down here. Uh, I'm going to embarrass myself trying to find the pyramids. Um, I'm going to pause it and find it. Hey, sorry about it. I've been there all day. I did have to actually find the exact location because they mix into the sand. Right, so here are the, the Great Pyramids of Giza. Uh, as you've seen, I put that, the, the other line of, of this. Uh, now, there's some... <laughs> Some people have been lying to me, don't you know about the curvature of the earth and stuff like that? Don't you know that Google Earth um, has the mathematics to take that into consideration? But anyway, I'll let you go and do the math and figure out your own homework and stuff like that. Now, um, so what you'll find now um, is I've joined the top of that McClelland Arch uh, to the very middle of the pyramids in, in Egypt. Um, Go and look at the timelines when these were all done and stuff. How could they do this way back then? It's called a compass degrees and map reading skills, man. Honestly, give human beings some credit. We are actually really intelligent. And what you'll find, uh, this goes through a few interesting things, but uh, it follows the ley line put down in Glasgow Green, right through the tip of the obelisk, uh, right through the tail of uh, the the... the Right through the tail of the, what do you call that bird? <laughs> An owl. <laughs> and let me see if I can show you um, where it all goes. So it goes through Hamilton. Right. Um, and where's this? Here it's there. Uh, this is, an, this is a, 
industrial estate that has been uh, I need to come back out of this to show you that um, the line actually does go through the industrial estate uh, it's not industrial estate it's shopping estate and then if you come in here as well on the shopping estate you'll see uh, the, oh, what's that called the horns or something which again if you go and research into the meaning of the sculpture then read between the lines and try to put some esoteric knowledge on top of that you will see that, that, that for me this has meaning it's been put there for a, it's been put there for a reason um so there's um the obelisk in glasgow and an obelisk down in trent park that if you go and look how they've been placed on the map um you can clearly see did i clear that why is that not showing up um i don't know why that isn't showing up um i must have cleared it damn it but you can clearly see the relationship between the architecture and the ley lines uh, and there is they do correspond now um let me just find some more stuff uh, i'll leave a link for all this down below you can go and fill in the blanks and um, this was a picture of another obelisk it's down in trent park let me just go and show you this is a this is all um as you can see trent park these are all the monuments in trent park all dated in the 1700s early 18th century there's a couple of swinxes there's a stone urn time and opportunity for peace and bracing time samson slaying the philistine uh, that's sam Her hercules um venus there's the obelisk with the inscription the one i was showing you that's the one that's on the ley line that points directly to malta and there is the other obelisk with the pine cone on it and again go and look into the esoteric meaning of all these pine cones uh, statues that turn up um what you'll find is you'll find one in the vatican um and you'll also find one um right next to the grand lodge the masonic lodge uh of glasgow um if i can get my bearings and find it here um so i'm looking for glasgow and i'm looking for this job square put that up there no, that's queen street so george square there's george square there um that's george square there uh, that's the city chambers um what i want to do is come down here and show you this is the old sheriff court now bearing this in mind old sheriff court i showed you down in glasgow green the masonic all seeing eye at the tip of a pyramid which represents masonic law go and read it in their own bible um Right across the road from the All CNI, which represents Masonic law, is the High Court of Glasgow. This building here is the Old Sheriff Court. And funnily enough, it's right across the road from an All CNI <laughs> on the Masonic Temple. This is your uh, Grand Lodge of uh, Glasgow, right up the top of it. You might not actually, you might, you might go and do this yourself, but right up there. Ah, I see that's rubbish. Right up there, if you zoom in, you'll see the Masonic All C and I. Yet again, the Masonic All C and I representing law right across the road from the old Glasgow Share of Court, where you have a pine cone um monument on the top of another obelisk. Right, so I'm not mental, there are coalitions here that you need to go and look into all the meanings about these stuff and you will see there is a relationship. Just as I'm showing you, these ley lines do actually point to places in the earth of significance to the people that were actually building it. They didn't just rock up and build it and go, oh, stick it at this degree for no reason. <laughs> these things were all planned out quite, um, quite cleverly. So there's the pine cone um, right across the road from 
the old, uh, no, it's still the current Grand Lodge of Glasgow. I need to get myself in there. I've not got myself in there yet. And right across the road from the Masonic uh, Hall. Now, make of this what you want as well. There's the Grand Lodge. <laughs> there's the Grand Lodge of Glasgow. Um, and anybody that knows better than me, but I'm pretty sure that this is the epicenter of kind of the, the gay scene in Glasgow. And you get the polo lounge and I think one of the gay bars is up there. Um, so make it out what you want. Uh, the most, the, the, all the gay bars, in fact, I know in Glasgow are around the Masonic Lodge. Then you have the, the, the restaurant called Bacchus. Can't quite remember Bacchus, uh, the goddess of wine, which could also be seen as filth and debauchery because part of the worshipping of the goddess of wine was to get drunk and have a lot of sex. <laughs> so Bacchus, it's it's all in this area. Um. So I guess I think that's what I wanted to show you. Um, what else have I got? The significance of the, the, the this pointing to the Malta. Here's um, visitmalta.com. Go and look at it. They, they know their history. They'll tell you. Um, take it in, timestamp it, put it in a put it into a broader perspective of the time frame of what was going on in different areas of the world with the British Empire, the Victorian Empire, so on and so forth. Now, what you'll find here is. Uh, to trace the knights, start in the places they made home, uh, the three cities of Fort St. Angelo, then Valletta, um, fortified the city built after the Great Siege of 1565. So, it was, um, let me just, so look at the dates, and then you get two sphinxes turning up. The times match. Now, uh, uh, this this um, house also been tied in with the Rothschilds as well. You need to go and check out S. Williams video for that. Uh, it all makes perfect sense that the all the architecture is deliberately drawn out with esoteric uh, meanings in it. Um, for me, there is no doubt. I mean, um, obelisk, obelisk with pine cone. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this has added something to it and it's not just me rambling a load of crap. Hopefully you might get something out of the, the architecture. Oh, hold on, I can show you some more stuff actually. Um, right, let me go to uh, Torrent Park. Um, other stuff you can read in the architecture there, what you'll find is, uh, um, what do they call it? It's a calendar. Ah, I forgot the name of it. Calendar. Uh, um, not a cosmic calendar, not a cosmic calendar at all. Really struggling, it'll come back to me. An, an astro calendar or something. Um, and what you'll find as well is the exact same thing. Turning up in the Vatican, where the pine cones are, where the obelisk is. Can you see where it is yet? Can you see where it is yet? There is a coalition be between all these places, the architecture, the symbols, uh, the way they've been laid out. Apparently by people for different religions at different times and all that, but the architecture is telling me something different. Um, and yeah, there's your Vatican City as well. Um, yep, with the obelisk and the astro calendar. Hold on, I'm going to have to find... I what, what I was trying to get at was it's, it's an astronomy calendar. It's, the, it's, it's It looks like a clock face, but it breaks it down into 12 and it's the skies and then from there comes the hidden knowledge and, and, and if you have the eyes to see, you can see who placed that there. Um, so yeah, hopefully this made some sense and somebody got something out of it. I'm going to see if I can post it, the link on S. Williams's video and see if he watches it or what not. Maybe he takes something away from it, maybe he doesn't. Oh, there's a wee pentagram as well. Don't forget your pentagram. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll 
I will leave a link for all that down below. You can go and check it out. Most importantly, S. Williams' video. Uh, stick Obelisk into my channels. Ch ch make sure you check both of them. Glasgow Green, Masonic Symbols, and you'll get the numerous videos I've done about all the architecture in and around Glasgow from the city chambers. And you can see this stuff everywhere. Uh, there's even there's, there's six Lucifers on each side of the city chambers up in the viewing gallery and everything, man. It's, it's amazing. Um, and if you're lucky enough to be down in that uh, neck of the wood, go and see Trent Park, man. By all accounts, it's a good wee, looks like a good place to go and get your nose stuck into some information. Uh, I know I would love to go down there and look at all the architecture. So I'll leave a link for all that down below. Hopefully you can go and get something from it. Thumbs it up, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, all the good stuff. Leave all your comments, good, bad, ugly and indifferent. I will read and respond to as many as I can. Alrighty, YouTube, thanks for listening. Catch yous. And there's presence in the days like in the police. It's a fear